Welcome back to Denver, Colorado. I'm Leandra Riley, along with Bart Connor. The 1989 U.S. Gymnastics Challenges sixth show is underway, where we have Marna Neubauer against Kelly Pitson. And right now, by a .425 margin, it is Neubauer in the lead after one rotation. The men have competed twice already. Patrick Kirksey out in front by a comfortable 2.30 margin. And right now, the men are moving to the still rings. The women will compete on the uneven parallel bars. But right now it is Mihai Baju who is up on rings. Lifting Mihai to the rings is Ron Howard, his coach at the SCATS program down in Huntington Beach, California. The SCATS, of course, have a world-famous women's gymnastic program. They just three years ago got into young boys' gymnastics, and they say they have 600 boys involved in their program already. So boys' gymnastics in Southern California is really taking off. Mihai had some trouble there in the opening skill. Hold that L long enough. No, he's just he's just really hacking through this routine. He needs to hold these positions. The handstand there is good, but the strength moves weren't even close. Tuck double back dismount. Pretty weak routine. As a teenager develops in men's gymnastics, how easy are the rings for a gymnast to get those strength moves? Well, there's no question the rings is one of the most difficult events for young people to learn because it takes a tremendous amount of strength. You can see here he's supposed to lower down and power down, and he can't even control that as he lowers to the L, but he does do a good job with the swing elements, but of course a tuck double back dismount is not the level of difficulty that you expect to see in a competition like this. Mihai Baju, again, just 17 years of age. And although he's been in the sport since he was five years old, it's very different for boys in this sport. They have to wait for their bodies to mature in order to do some of the difficult elements. His score, 7.85. And the gap just widens between himself and Patrick Kirksey. Patrick Kirksey, on the other hand, his opponent, is 20 years of age. Physically, he's a little bit more mature, and of course, he has had the opportunity to compete in the college ranks, which gives him a lot of experience. In fact, the man lifting him up to the rings is his college coach, Francis Allen. Certainly, Patrick is, uh, is on his way to becoming one of the great American gymnasts. He's really level-headed kid. He's very committed to his training and his preparation. Nice sequence of strength elements, front level and a kick to a cross. Wow, cast right to two Yamawakis in a row to a back up right straddle out. And so little movement in the rings. Look at how his arms are locked out. It's important to maintain, maintain control on the rings to really keep a good locked out arm position. Nice dismount. Tucked, full twisting double back. Good job. Great dismount by Patrick Kirksey. 12 years in the sport, began at age 8, and now he is 20 and enjoying a very successful career at Nebraska where he finished first in the Big 8 meet. This is a really hard combination from a cast. He goes right to this double whippet, or Yamawaki, two in a row, both in the pike position. That takes great strength as well as swing. And I don't care what you say, when you are as tall as he is at, at 5'10", doing those L positions, that's tough. And look at how cleanly he performs this dismount. Good tuck position, nice clean fall, and a perfect landing. What a talent. And the score for Patrick Kirksey on the still rings. Quite a bit better than what Mihai Baju received. 9.60, Baju received a 7.85. Again, the gap increases. Now we are moving, however, to the women's side of this sixth matchup. This is Kelly Pitson. Again, she is head-to-head -head with Marna Neubauer. Less than half a point separates these two gymnasts. Straddle over, right to the high bar. Straddle back to the low bar. There's a transition. It's called a ginger. It's a backflip with a half twist to a regrasp. 
Once again, she went down to the low bar to fulfill that requirement, and she slings a tough double back off for a discount. What a tough little competitor, just 13 years old. This is great experience for her. Here she does a giant swing. She almost stopped it on the top. It's a backflip with a half twist in the pike position to a regrasp, half turn over, and glide in the low bar. Remember, they can't do all their elements on the high bar or all the elements on the low bar. They have to show the judges elements on both. And she kind of slung this tuck double off. It wasn't as high as she'd like it to be, but she pulled it around just right. She's going to be a good little gymnast. Four feet, 10 inches tall, only 86 pounds. Marna Neubauer in the earlier rotations managed to take a .425 lead over Kelly Pitson. Her score for that performance, 9.525. Next up on Anita Bars from Great American Gymnastics Express, Marna Neubauer. Well, this is Marna's favorite event, the uneven bars. A little trouble there on that opening skill. I think she was supposed to go over rather than come back. She made a good cover up. There's her reverse hect. Straddle back to a handstand, to a toe-on-toe-off on, toe on the low bar. That's a good combination. It's more than just a token trip to the low bar to show the judges that you can work down there as well. She did some good elements on the low bar. Good giant swings and a tuck double back. That is her favorite apparatus. Again, Marna had a .425 lead going into this rotation. Let's watch the reverse hect. Watch what happens here. You're going backwards, and then you pull. Reverse straddle back over the bar. Very nicely done. This is a straddle back to handstand on the low bar. And then she continues with a toe-on-toe-off handstand on the low bar. Really nice transitional combination. Nice leg extension. This is the dismount here. She straddles down, giant swing. And again. And a real nice tuck double back. <laughs> Happy face for a good job. Again, Kelly Pitson's score was 9.525. We're waiting for the numbers on Marna Neubauer. And the official score we're given is 9.25. So Kelly Pitson has defeated Marna Neubauer on the unevens, but Marna Neubauer still has a lead after two rotations.